In this demonstration, we will generate typical class approval drawings using the basic design model created in a previous demonstration. From this model, we will be creating sets of two-dimensional views to be used to create structural approval drawings. Before we start modeling, we will activate the task. We can create a view from predefined location groups. We'll create a view of both a watertight and non-watertight section, in this case frames 51 and 56. The update view command generates the view using the layers, line weights and symbols we have defined in our template. The view we have created is of a frame looking aft. The lines we see outside the view are reference lines generated from location groups. You will see created in our view of symbols for continuous plates, intercoastal plates, and seams. Profiles are represented as a single line along the mold side of the profile with an angle representing an end treatment oriented in the throw direction. Everything you see in this 2D view can be customized to suit a shipyard's desired output. We'll merge the two views together to show half of the two different frame types. Here you see the drawing sheet, viewports, and the title block defined in our single sheet drawing template. For class approval drawings, we have created a style called stock name for labeling profiles or brackets. We also have a style for plate parts. Our view can be dimensioned using AutoCAD's dimensioning tools. This would be all measurements not accounted for by the reference planes. We can see a mistake here with the bracket on the non-watertight side. We will fix it and add another bracket on the outboard side in the planar group model. All related parts, including the brackets replicated on other frames, will update automatically. For the new bracket, we can create a non-standard part by drawing in place the outline and defining it as a plate part. This plate part will need to be mirrored about the center line of the ship and then replicated on the other non-watertight frames. We'll now return to our midships section drawing. When we regenerate the view, we can see the bracket and label has updated and the new bracket added. Marine drafting views have an intelligent update procedure that remembers and preserves any changes that may have been made to the view. I'll skip ahead, finish annotating this drawing, and we'll take a look at the completed drawing plotted to PDF. We'll now look at creating a multi-sheet drawing showing a two-dimensional view of all the planar groups within a unit. We'll start with the decks. The views have been set up to be equally spaced in model space. Next, we'll create views of the longitudinal sections and the frames also using location groups. Let's look at our views in paper space. Here's a look at our multi-sheet drawing when plotted to PDF. As we can see from this demonstration, along with the creation and detailing of our basic design model, a class approval drawing can be easily created from our 3D model. Making changes to the model and updating the view is easier and more efficient than creating a standalone class approval drawing and has the additional advantage of allowing the view to remain linked with the 3D model. For more information, visit www.ssi-corporate.com.